time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live, first trading day of October, Tuesday. S&P down 35, NASDAQ down 202, Russell down 25, Dow down 8. Wow, Dow's unchanged. Gold up almost 1%, silver up over a little over half percent. Notes and bonds green, 10-year yield down 1.4. Oil up 2.7. Natty gas a little bit red, soybeans unchanged, corn green, wheat red, euro in the pound a little bit red, Bitcoin down 2.3%, VIX up over 10, sitting at 18.51, definitely off of its lows, or excuse me, definitely off of its highs, SPX well off of its lows. I've done some BIX today, all my normal BIX. The only thing I I kind of just forgot to do was my afternoons were set to target the $3 strikes. And I there's plenty of premium to target for, but um, all in all, it shows I'm up about $8.86, but I actually made some money on some long puts on the flush. So I'm up about $1,200 on those. Uh, I'm up about $600 on my price action BIX. Here's my remaining couple lots that have not got stopped on either side yet. Did a 1DTE with my entry 10 minutes after the bell. That helped a lot because it had that big flush. Volatility got pumped. And I just transformed that into a... Let's see. It's this one here. Transformed it into a double vertical for tomorrow's expiration. So I've got a minimum profit of 620, max profit of over 2,600 if either side hits. My one DTE from yesterday was an upside vertical. So it looks like I'll take minimum profit there unless we get above 5770 today. Put on a one, two and a one, three double calendar. My one, two is up about 4%. One, three is up about 2%. Still have my three four on from Monday. That's up or that's down about three percent. My five seven, I took some off at twenty percent. It's at about twenty one percent now. My six seven is at up about five or six percent. And then I put on a couple of wugas. My early wuga, which I targeted the forty delta, it's up about thirteen percent. And then my 145 Wuga stretched it out a little bit wider at around the 30 Delta, and it's up about 6% currently. And, oh, I did one other trade, which is a bullish VRR in uh, NDX, which if we expire above 19,800, that'll be a max win. I may take some of that off here. We're starting to kind of roll over a little bit, but uh, otherwise, that is it for me. Chad, how's your day? Start off pretty bad. Scratching and clawing my way back. Um, put on my one DTE, and then that flush, it got stopped out. So honestly, can't remember the last time my one DTE got stopped. And I mean, that's not always because I'd let it go to the stop. There are times where I've taken it off before it got stopped, but nonetheless, it was a stopped out. So sent me back about five K right out of the, right out of the gates. 
Uh, put on an AM number one, went 20, 40 and out, or I'm sorry, 20, 40, and then got stopped on my last two contracts. So I got some of my profits back. Uh, I entered a, a, a one DTE once, another one DTE once price settled down and um, uh, ended up closing that out when I started to see that we might just push up because pushing up would have taken profits. And so I'm not sure. It's probably close to 25%. Um, so again, got a little bit of money back there. My AM number two, I put on maybe a tad early, but it ended up on the push up getting stopped out for a full loss. Um, lunchtime number one, 20%, and then it got stopped on the push up as well. Um, so scratch trade, 200 bucks. Power hour number one, I put on right at 130, and I've booked a 20% profit target. It's currently sitting dead center and needs about 10 cents to uh, book 40%. So uh, my three TLC trades that are closed, I'm down for about 1400 bucks, so not too bad. And that will that will turn around here once I... Uh, if I can continue to be profitable on this power hour trade. My one DTE was a net loss uh, when I figured in them both, about 3700 So, um, And then uh, I did uh, have a really nice day day trading this morning. Almost booked almost 2K, so that helped. And I'm in um, one Wooga, which uh, is the 15 and 30s. So 15 wide, and that's up 20%. And then another account, I'm in the 20s and 30s, and that's up 15%. So that's where I'm at. Obviously, the big news today, Iran shooting 100 ballistic missiles at Israel. Most recent post here in Financial Jews, U.S. National Security Advisor, there will be severe consequences for this attack. So most likely not over. But after things kind of, I guess, somewhat settled, so when we started to see the started to see the bounce here. I was supposed to put on a two, three double calendar, just opted not to just to. I've got enough exposure, I think, with all this going on for overnight exposure anyway. And the really big news of the day is, don't forget, your Kansas City Royals play right after power hour in the wild card round against the Baltimore Orioles. The Royals. <laughs> all right, we got one Royals fan here. Uh, by the way, Chad, I saw your text. I I can't go. I gotta go get my kids. But yeah, are you guys driving somewhere. No, most people are out of town. But we make if we get through the wild card, we need to do something for that ALDS. And I hit forty percent of my power hour trade. Nike after the bell. Remember the last time I traded Nike. About five to seven cents wide. Nice volume. Yeah. It's... Maybe I should put Nike on my watch list. I don't think I have it on there. Hmm. 
would probably do my bullish broken wing fly. Whoa, what's up with MC? Oh, SMCI split. Okay. Whew. Said down 90%. At a 10 to 1 split, reverse split. So SMCI now a $40 stock. Other big movers, Coinbase down 7%. Apple down 3 NVIDIA down 3 MU down 3 Tesla down 1 Netflix a little unchanged, almost a little bit green. Chinese stocks just continuing to rocket higher. Baba Baidu PDD. You catch any of that down move in your day trades today? No. I, <laughs> I did not take advantage of the down move. I was, I was, all three of my trades were longs. I still scratched really? out a profit, but yeah. Yeah. I got in a coin, Coinbase that was freaking awesome. Yeah, I was. I looked at that, and it just didn't quite. I had an order in. I just, it just didn't bounce enough for me to get filled. That would have been a nice one. Yeah, I was pretty aggressive getting in. Coinbase, Microsoft, MU, ones I got in. I, I took a little mighty ninety in Tesla right here. Bounced. I hit my first profit target, and then when it started coming down, I cut. So I booked a small profit there. Uh, uh, so on that bounce, I was looking at, I tried to get in on a downside continuation runner there. You know, I couldn't get filled. Yeah, we we're bouncing off yesterday's lows. And so that's why I got a little volume pop and coming into yesterday's lows yeah. is why I took it. And then let's see. Oh, MU was a mighty 90. Oh, right yeah, here. yeah. I saw you. Bounce that. I actually got in right here so i scratched out a little profit but i didn't i i actually was trying to add to it didn't get filled in the ad it would have been a nice winner had i got my ad filled and i got then, short there on that bounce and then uh baidu oh yeah baidu upside volume runner check that I out of too early that. yeah i remember seeing that pulled one. back got in got it first profit target and then it flushed back down i just cut out so I didn't, I didn't catch much of that. So yeah, kind of fighting the tape instead of going with it today. Uh, personally, with things going on, Chessmaster, I don't. I don't like a duck. I, in fact, I don't even know on Nike if it'll set up because it's such a small stock. Let's see. Yeah, I definitely don't like a duck on that one. It's got about a six and a half point expected move. Currently trading at 89 and a half. So I'd put it at 95. I'll probably do something like this. Wait till closer to the close. 
least we get a big move here. I had an order in on my one, two to close half. It was getting close to 10% pretty quick. It's only up about three right now. Wugas are up about 26, 28%. I mean, I saw, I, you know, I left a little bit early yesterday to get on the road for Stone's football game. <laughs> after the market closed, I, I was driving and check, checked the market. That was quite the push up at the end of the day after I left. Yeah, the old last day of the month did not disappoint. God, that's brutal. Did you guys, did your Mahomeses make money on that? They did, yep. Nice. My last day of the month trade, it it made a little profit, but that move started so so much earlier. You know, had I gotten yeah. in maybe ten minutes earlier, it would have been a monster winner. But by the time I got in, it had already moved thirty fifteen points, and then it pushed up another fifteen. Yeah, I was trying to remember if I left any long calls on. But I, but I, I hadn't. I haven't been focusing on it, Elliot, just because I've got so much else going on. It's just adding another, another thing to, to worry about. But I, I think the number was under three billion anyway. I mean, it was two point six, pretty close. But yeah, that obviously anything long would have killed. I just posted a power hour number two in my channel there. Looks like Moel's got a question for you. Oh, I'll go 60 now. I'm, I'm, I'm almost there, actually. At 10 cents. That's why I put on, I just put on a power hour number two because of that. Because I'm going to, it's going to go 60 and out. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, 
I'm down on the day, so I'm just booking profits. Here we go, 16 out on my uh, power hour number one. Well, let's just stay asleep here right on the uh, lower expected move line. It's been here for an hour. Might as well stay. I had a uh, situation where I was, I entered a BIC in my toss account via trade steward. And, and half of it got filled. And then all of a sudden, my net lick went negative on toss. Did anybody else? Madam, Madam Butterfly said she saw some issues with her net lick. But my my net lick went negative. And, and then it said, you know, I had too many day trades. So it wouldn't let me enter the other half of my BIC. Um, so I jumped on support real quick and they... Look, they were looking into it, and then, um, and then all of a sudden, it it fixed itself. Lasted about ten minutes, though. My net look was negative for about ten minutes. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, it's not good." Use a little bounce back up. I have most of mine set for five minutes. Oh, I saw you said that you got stopped so quick that it re-entered. Definitely use a little bounce. With that spike in vol at the at the open, my uh let's see, I was ninety wide on my first pick, ninety wide on my second one. So no no double stops today. Yeah, in your in your bot settings there's a you can you can set it to max number. Now it's still going to let you manually enter as many as you want. It's right here, Elliot. It's under uh, trade conditions. Yeah, 
Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. So yeah, so if you're if you have set times, if you have a bunch of bots for set times and it's set to one, then yeah, that should take care of it. A one twos back up seven percent. It may hit ten percent for end of day. Yeah. Ever since I put that power hour trade on it has come down. Should be adding, but I'm not gonna put on any more risk. If I get stopped here, I'm just going to call it a day. I don't want to put on a, another potential risk with the VIX up 12%. Need NASDAQ to hold its head up. We'd like it above 57.20. Yep, nestled back up towards that expected move line around 25-ish 20, be perfect. Wooga's up 45, Iwooga up 37. I got one up 48% and one is up 35%. Are you ride or die or are you profit target guy? Well, <laughs> I think my, <laughs> in my smaller account, the one that's 15 wide, the 15s and 30s, that's up 50%. Looking pretty good right now, so. May ride, ride or die that one. That's a quick profit target. That's a quick 50% for, for Wooga. Yeah, I placed it at 126 central.
My dead center is right about where it is right now. Fifty-seven twenty-five. That'd be perfect. Little volatility, and everybody bailed on their bix, except for Elliot. I'm still with you, Elliot. I'm still with you, buddy. Solid day so far. Little bounces help. Helping my power hour trade. Yeah, Elliot said he traded the one DT for the first time today because he hadn't had hadn't had luck, and so I had. Didn't trade it for a long time. So I decided to start trading today. I said, why didn't you tell me that? I would have gotten out of my, or I wouldn't have placed my 1DT. Mine, uh, if, I'd known you, if I'd known you were coming back to start trading it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, moved, I moved my uh, entry on my 1DTE to 10 minutes after the bell. Just because uh -huh. I had too many things going on right at the open. That was too, too correlated. So that saved me today because we had that huge flush, big ball spike. Yeah. So it, it never, it didn't get stopped. What I like about this Wooga is I'm in for two contracts in my small account. It's, uh, Eleven fifty max profit, max loss eight fifty. Stay up there. Yeah, we definitely like to hit at least twenty percent on this. Next power hour trade, I'm about 70 cents away. Any move up would help. I need about 30 cents now. Yeah, I love transforming the one DTEs. Didn't sound like you had a chance though, <laughs> Elliot, with your entry. Well, I'm over 60% on this last one. Just letting it burn. 
At about 35 minutes to go. Twenty five butterflies trading for eighty cents, maybe. Yeah, I like to do the broken wing butterflies, Naughty Dog. If I'm bearish, I do a put fly. If I'm bullish, I do a call fly. So if you look at Nike as an example. If I were to be bearish, I'd try to hit the the pin of my the tip of my butterfly at the expected move line. So we've got about a six and a half point expected move. So it's about 89, so call it 83-ish, 82 would be the peak. So I do something like this. So I just posted it there. So essentially get, I mean, with this, I just, I didn't really mess with this much, but you know, you have a lot of times you'll have no risk to the downside or in this case, tiny bit, but your profit peak is set up at the expected move to the downside. So if, if I'm bearish, I would look at something like that and you, then you're obviously your upside risk is defined. So you can risk whatever you're willing to risk. I'm going to go the opposite way on Nike. I'm going to do a call fly. Same concept, but to the upside. Yeah, so essentially if, like on the put side, like I just showed you, Basically what I'm doing is, like I said, I put the, you're selling the two options at the peak. So pick the strike that's around the expected move. And then to the downside, you're, it's going to be a little bit more narrow. So you could do it like one strike wider above the peak and uh, one strike more narrow. So in other words, I'm five wide to the upside, four wide to the downside, and that'll break the wing like that. Hit twenty percent on my power hour trade, power hour number two. So it's a good feeling.
Moel, Wuga, 50% and out. Nice. Uh, I think if I'm at the end of the day and I'm that close to a profit target, I would at least take some a lot of times. Well, if you're one lot, Johnny, you're just going to have to make a decision. You know, I think if you think about it, like if I, if I put on a trade with a three-day window and I get a third of the profit in one day, you know, I think it, I think it's reasonable to think about taking it off or some of it off. Right. So that's, that's the way I kind of look at it is. However big your window is, break that up into thirds or quarters or halves or whatever. And then, you know, that I think that'll help at least make the decision. Obviously, if you get to the point where you're doing more than one contract, then it's easy, right? You take some off, but if you're going all in or all out, obviously that's a little, a little tougher. Not liking this down move. Need a bounce now. Need a little we'll back bounce. Up. Yeah, we'll just back under 50% now. Fifteen butterflies under a dollar. I'm gonna get stopped out of my butter or my uh, power hour trade. I don't get a quick bounce here. Yep, stop, stopped out. Well, I booked twenty percent, but it's too big a moves for. And that's a 10 point move. Mm. Now my Wooga's getting close to being in the red. Not cool.
Yep, I'm, I just got stopped at one side of my last remaining contract on one of my BICs. Just getting a little, little frisky. Yeah, you know, I should have just taken that off at 50%. I had a feeling with the VIX being up so high, we would get a move at the end of the day. We'll see. We've got time to bounce. Plenty of time for Luga. Yeah, I was a little more concerned about, not real concerned about my Wuga, honestly, because the max loss isn't that much, but and these my TLC trades, I just can't. Today was get, you know, I got I hit twenty percent on two of the four. Couldn't get any more. My one two is getting close to ten percent. Need between 20 and 30 for Wuga. Now plus plus five oh five for my TLC trades. Minus thirty seven eighty for my one DTE. So a little bit red today. Fifteen butterflies still trading for under a buck. Twenty minutes to go. It's going to be a late entry for Mr. Mahomes today. Yeah, and I think that was the one he just got stopped out of 20% now, 20% stopped. Is that right, Chad? Ken's asking. Uh, my, power, my power hour one, he's asking about the one. I booked 20, 40, 60 and out on that a long time ago. Oh. Yeah, my, my number two was stopped after 20%. Uh, what's a Bogata? Bogati. Bugatti. It's a uh, it's a gangster mobile. Uh, I'm not gonna buy any one of those. No.
Come on, get back up above 20. Well, one will go back up to 45%. The other one back up to Come on, Wooga. You can do it, little buddy. Wooga, are you going to let him call you a little buddy like that? <laughs> oh, you're talking about the trade. The trade, yeah. Not my little buddy, Wooga. One little bounce. Just doesn't want to get back up there. Yeah, struggling a bit, isn't it? Dix is on the rise. Back above 19. Oh, my one two just hit. I moved my order to 1280. Calendars continuing to dominate. Dark Avenger, my data says it's going to bounce.
That's what that says. <laughs> Interesting. It says the bounce is coming. It's good looking data. MOC in three and a half minutes. It's in between strikes, 15 butterfly, a little over a buck. I'm going to need a nice MOC buy number. No, I haven't I haven't seen any correlation like that, Moel. One minute. I'm not even going to put my flies in yet. They're not close. All right, MOC on its way. Three hundred forty million buy side. Tiny, tiny. Teeny tiny. Got to get my Nike trade on.
Sitting at 12, I need over 20. Fifteen butterflies, still only about a buck twenty. All right, time to push, time to push up. Big push. Work in the tens and fifteens. And the O5s going the wrong way for Wooga. Yeah, the trending downward most of power hours kind of made me think it wasn't going to get back up there. Really going to have to bounce for me now. Above 12 would make money. Butterflies are staying cheap. Need to get towards a strike. And butterfly getting close. Build on the tens. Mm -hmm. 
Next stop, 20. Bot filled on the tens as well. Yeah, so 20 would be great. Three minutes. Big push up. Just can't get any legs. Two-minute warning, Mahomes. Two minutes. Yeah, I should have been like Moel and took the 50% when I had it. Yeah, 50% looks pretty good right now. Yep. Got one that's going to be a max loss. One minute. My 30s. 20s and 30s are going to be a max loss. If it goes any further, the other ones will too. Thirty seconds. Mahomes will be profitable profitable under 07. Not a bummer. Ding ding ding. 0874. So Mahomes loser, Wooga loser. Good day for Bix. A lot of losers for me. Over 2,200 on Bix, plus another few hundred on closing out some long puts, so about 2,500 on Bix. All right, all, that is a wrap. Tomorrow is the 2nd. October 2nd. Chad will be streaming live in the morning for day trading, and we'll be back for Power Hour. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night.